people around me. Good morning, girls. This is the official Run Disney vlog. I am running a half marathon through Disney World this weekend, and I just parked ready to head inside into the expo. I am running this half marathon as a plus one with my friend Taryn. She is being hosted by Walt Disney World. So because she's a new mother, because she needs a plus one, I'm here with her. This is my second ever half marathon. I didn't necessarily train for this half marathon because I already had my training for the last one, but I lollygagged this holiday season, so who knows how this one's gonna go. I figured that I could take you guys along with me through getting the bib, through getting everything. This vlog is also just gonna be my experience. I am not the person to look to in terms of tips and tricks, where to get this, what time to get here, when to do that. I figured that I could just share my experience with you guys, so I'm gonna head inside and get my bib. I'm gonna meet up with my friend Taryn. She brought her cute little baby curl, so we're gonna check out the expo today. Ah! We made it to the wide world of sports. And honey, there are so many content creators here today. I am loving this. I'm loving it. Look how beautiful this is. I also didn't share with you guys, Taryn is here. Hi! And we also have the baby. She's Fun here. fact. Oh, she's oh, down there. She's down, she's <laughs> way down there. She's way down there. Fun fact, Taryn was pregnant when she ran this race last year. She was in her first trimester. She hadn't told anybody that she was pregnant. And she ran 13 miles. Pregnant. And I feel less prepared this year. <laughs> Somehow, you know, if we have to walk it, we will. But the training was slim to none for the both of us. I say I'm not ready, but then I'm probably gonna be like the road runner because I'm so hype right now. <laughs> She's literally gonna be like, Shannon, hurry like, I'm up. I'm ready to start running with the stroller right now. <laughs> I'm just so excited. We're gonna try and figure out how to pip, pick up our bibs, park the stroller, do the whole nine yards. I'm feeling like the cool ant today. She is. If I gotta hold Brooklyn, I will. You guys, this is all switchbacks to get inside and pick up our freaking bib. I've switched to my phone. Now we're going into the marathon center. The center, this is where the magic happens, y'all. This is where you can get earphones, shoes. Literally, there's so many booths in here. I'm so excited. Okay, everything's been acquired. We have the shirt, we have the bib, and now, expo time. Taryn and I are in the mood to buy some sunglasses, so we're looking at all of our options. Guys, we're gonna have to do a haul in the car because this is serious. We found the area with all of the courses. This is the one that we're doing. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not super pleased with it because most of our race is on the highways. But you can see we're starting in the Epcot parking lot. We're headed up through Magic Kingdom. And then we're coming down through both of the resorts through I think this is the Grand Floridian and then Polynesian. And then we're coming back down. And then we're not even hitting the boardwalk or anything. No. Nope. My spray tan hands. And then we're just going right through Epcot. All of the metals look totally insane. This is ours. They also have all of the medals for the Disneyland race weekend, which these are so freaking cool also the fact that the ducks are 10k yes and not the half. not the half the half one's cute though look at oh, that the and then the dumbo we know a couple of girls running the dumbo challenge coast to coast people are running the coast to coast challenge so they're doing the dopey this weekend and then next weekend they're flying out to Disneyland to run a 5k, a 10k, and another half. So people are literally within two weeks running about 70 miles, which is insane. They pulled out the red carpet for us. We're headed into the area now that has all of the Disney merchandise and stuff and they said they rolled out the red carpet for us. How cute! Me on the red carpet. Another line. This is so serious this whole thing is switchbacks to get in to see the disney merchandise we finally made it inside let's get it let's get it the 10k stuff is really cute i like that it's chip and dale i love that there are people everywhere and this is really stressful because people are like running to get their merchandise so i feel stressed i 
just, I don't know, the spring is a choice because if you wear these while you're running, that would drive me up the wall, y'all. Okay, hello, hello. I'm back home from the race day expo and let's do a little haul together because we were there, no joke, from like 10.15 up until 2.30. This expo took a lot more time than the expos that I have been to in the past. The lines were so much longer. It was just, it was quite literally insanity, the amount of time that we waited in lines. But also we saw like some of our friends that are also creators that were there. So it was really cool being able to like stop and chat with them and like walk around the expo with them. That was super cool. So let's just get started with everything that I got. My dog is also like, he's, you know, being whatever. So the first thing I got was my bib. And you guys already saw the bib, I'm pretty sure I put that in here. So I got my bib and whenever you get your bib, you have like a rip off on the top that will give you the, um, that will give you the identification for the shirt that you have. You pick your shirt out, the type of shirt that you want when you are registering for your race. So I got a men's large of the half marathon. And I like that it's a blue color, which is kind of nice. Then it has all the sponsors on the back. This isn't a super like nice athletic material. Like this isn't Lululemon by any means, but free is free. You know what I mean? And what brand is this? Pretty sure it's like Gildan or something. Donald and Daisy are the characters for the half marathon specifically. So I got the t-shirt and they give you like a, a bag so you can put all of your expo stuff in there. I did get the half marathon pin and it's super detailed. There's Donald and Daisy all over it and it has the castle. Cause one of the cool things about the half marathon for this race is that you are actually running through Magic Kingdom. And I showed you guys our race course. The super cool thing that I got was a pair of running sunglasses. Taryn got a pair last year from this brand and it's called Gooder. No slip, no bouncing, all polarized, all fun is the Gooder brand. And I think this brand is through Fit to Run or at least they were the representatives that we purchased these through. So they come with a really cute case. And then these were the ones. I gasped when I put these on. Literal gasp when I put them on. And then the, the girl that was checking, or the girl that was like standing by the sunglasses was also like, <gasps> so, I mean, with the bangs back. This is like a look. I just, I really like these. And I don't have a pair of running sunglasses. And I will insert a picture right here of what happened the last time I pulled my sunglasses out of my running vest at my last half marathon. So I got a pair that now um, doesn't feel like it's gonna bounce or slip or like go down my nose or anything like that. So. I'm pretty excited about these. And the woman that was checking us out says that they are designed to wear with a hat as well. So they're not gonna like push down on my nose when I wear a hat and stuff. So I'm very excited about these. I now have a pair of running sunglasses. I don't even know if you can see that. They're like grips on the backs of the sunglasses. I don't know. So for the Gooder brand, this is the style artifacts, not art of feeling. It says artifacts, not art of feelings. And then the other thing that I got, cause I literally, like I don't have, I don't think I don't have any for this weekend. I got goos. I got a goo in the flavor cherry lime. And then I got one in true berry. Goos that I really like are the chocolate flavored one. So this is sea salt chocolate. Five minutes before every 45. So this should be taken at every 40 minutes of your run. So for some people that's mile three, for some people it's whatever. But I will say when you start training and stuff, you can feel when your body is about to be depleted. That's when I take these. For me, it's right before I hit a 5K. 
which that could be around like my 30 minute or around my 30 minute to 40 minutes, somewhere within that range. That's when I need to have one of these. So I have three and for getting through my race, I might need one more, but I also really like the Hue brand. Those are in my Amazon storefront. That's the haul, that's everything I got during the half marathon, or not the half marathon, from the race expo. That is everything. Thank you so much for joining me for this haul. The next time that I will probably see you guys is going to be preparing the night before my race. Um, because I want this vlog to be strictly run Disney and my run Disney weekend and everything that I'm doing run Disney. It's supposed to rain as of right now during our race. Everybody that was talking to us was like, it's gonna rain. I'm hoping it's not gonna be really bad, but we'll see. Hello and good morning. It's the day before race day. And I figured that we should talk before I'm gonna talk to you guys again tonight and just run you guys through what I do pre-race day. Yeah, this worked for me last time, but I'm updating a few things. Number one, the number one thing that I'm changing today on top of everything is that I am starting earlier with my electrolytes and I am doing the liquid IV, sugar-free hydration. I got a huge pack from Costco of these and the lemon lime is my favorite. My friend got the other sugar-free flavor and she said that she hated it. So I was like, I'm gonna opt not to do that. And I'm having it in my Starbucks 50th anniversary cup, my Walt Disney World cup. And this is gonna be my designated liquid IV cup today. And the number one thing that I'm changing today is that I am going to be having two liquid IV packets today. Um, I'm gonna be having one liquid IV packet this morning, and then I'm also going to be doing two sugar-free liquid IV packets, additional ones throughout the day, so three total, spreading them out throughout the day, because the last race that I did, my last half marathon was in November, so only two months ago. And I did the Run Disney Wine and Dine Half Marathon. You can see all of that content on TikTok, my extended vlogs that I did. And one of the major things that I noticed with that race in particular, I was thirsty the whole race. It was as if I did not have enough water in my system. And so one of the things that I'm doing today is I'm having more electrolytes today so that my body is pre-prepared for tomorrow. But I am not only having these electrolytes, I am also gonna be having just regular water in my Stanley cup throughout the day. And one thing that I did this morning, I went on a W-A-L-K, my dog's right here. I went on a walk with him and we did about 30 minutes and I wore the same shoes that I'm going to be wearing tomorrow just to make sure that my feet feel good in them. And then I have everything I did. And because I am not staying in any sort of hotel, I'm not traveling, this race is technically local to me, even though it is a Disney race, I don't have to go to the store don't have to go to the store because I have the food that I need for tomorrow. I have an Alani new that I want to have in the morning. I have all of my running fuel because you guys saw I got some the other day and then I also have some already in my pantry. I have the electrolytes that I need. Everything I have is here. And for anybody that is watching this and is expecting to do a run Disney race, how do you do it, you know, whatever. I would say to bring your electrolytes that you have all the time, bring your running fuel that you have all the time at home, and then also try out like food and stuff that can either be purchased from Amazon or from Publix when you're here in town. 
um, so that you can have things in the room because at, like me, if I were staying in a hotel, I would not be able to eat the food all the time that is like in the quick service or anything. Microwavable food and stuff is what I would have to do. Like microwavable dinners or stuff that I could, you know, whatever. So you can have all of that in your room and you can make Amazon delivery runs to your hotels. You can make Instacart deliveries to your hotel. That is nothing that you need to worry about. And also, I'm not a run Disney expert. I'm not a pre-race expert. I am just swiftly tweaking things from my last half marathon that did not work out and that I need to do better with today. Guys, my hair right now. This is how it feels because uh, essentially the half marathon that I was supposed to be running tomorrow is now seven miles instead of 13 miles because we're supposed to get some pretty bad thunderstorms so run disney posted an instagram post with the new race course and all of us were looking at it and we were like that's seven miles that is not 13 that is seven they are trying to get everybody off of the course trying to get everybody off of the course by 8 a.m which means that our start times are going to be earlier so my corral was supposed to close at 5 15 and i'm pretty sure that my corral i don't know what to do with my bangs because i just keep playing with them but now my corral closes at I think five. My hair, y'all, I can't do this. So now I don't need as much fuel as I needed yesterday. And then I don't need both of my water bottles. I only need one. So here's what we're gonna do now. I am going to have one of my water bottles in my vest because again, seven miles, babes, I get thirsty and I'm not depending on Disney water for this race. Four stops, four water stops, one first aid. Sick. So, <laughs> um, a lot of the girls are very, very mad about this. So I've been FaceTiming with, um, a few people tonight just talking to them um about the race so i feel really bad for the the dopey challenge people the people that were running 49 point whatever the people that are doing the 5k 10k half marathon and full marathon all in one weekend and it equals out to around 50 miles i feel bad for those girls that were prepared to do this and trained so long to do this and then their 13 miles gets cut to seven but I did get a text from some of those dopey girls that were like, hey, Shannon, we're still going to complete our half marathon mileage at some resorts afterwards if you want to come. And I'm like, if I still have the will to live after seven miles, I will let y'all know if I have another six in me. So I can now introduce you guys to the running fuel organizer that we have in the pantry. I have um, Cliff Chews in here. These are pretty good. These are Cliff Blocks, excuse me. I got a whole pack on Amazon, lots of different flavors, lots of different colors. So I'm not gonna use the blocks tomorrow because I realize right now my body likes gels. So I am going to bring my Huma Huma Blueberry. Um, I am going to bring Goo Cherry Lime. And then I'm also gonna bring, I have Honey Stinger in here. Excuse me, Honey Stinger to me kind of tastes like plastic. But I also have Apple Cinnamon. Do I want Apple Cinnamon? Or do I want, I'm only gonna need realistically two the reason I'm gonna bring one more is I'm gonna bring Huma. No. 
goo. I'm gonna bring the goo sea salt chocolate. Um, the reason I'm bringing more is just in case before the race I'm feeling a little depleted. So these are the three that I'm gonna have in my vest. I won't need three, but just in case, and if somebody around me is feeling a little off. One of these water bottles that I'm gonna fill up tonight. And then I have Nerds Clusters in here. If I was gonna be running my half, I was going to be running with four gels and a pack of Nerds Clusters because it's good to have some candy in there too. And then also a lot of people don't fuel properly while they're running, which makes running very hard for them. So I've realized for me that I need to fuel every 25 to 30 minutes for my body right now in my luteal phase of my cycle. For tomorrow in the fridge, I already have an Alani new peach for the morning that I will be popping. For my breakfast, a strawberry pop tart. And then I have my thing already out, my supplements. I'm taking Inositol every day for my PCOS. And that, you do not need that pre-race. That is simply for my insulin resistance. Okay, this is everything that is going in the vest. This is the Lululemon running free vest. You do not need the Lululemon vest. You simply do not. I personally have really enjoyed running with a vest and as a girl we carry our weight, a lot of our weight on our top half. So for me, this is a lot easier on my posture and on my body. So I'm gonna be wearing this. I'm gonna have my Huma gel and both of my Goo gels in here. I am going to have a full Vaseline stick. This is really great to put on my lips and then also if I'm chafing anywhere, I can put this under my arms, between my legs. I can literally put this anywhere. And then I'm also gonna have some like toilet paper. I don't have tissues on me. So I'm gonna have this in my vest as well, just to like wipe my nose or, you know, if a porta potty doesn't have anything, I just have a little bit. And then an extra hair tie, just in case. And then I don't think I'm gonna need my sunglasses, my new Gooder sunglasses that I showed y'all but I think I'm just gonna have them like out here and I don't know, I might put them in the vest. I have my Shox headphones. Shox headphones are currently charging. I'll either be wearing my Shox or Andre's Shox, no matter what, I'm gonna be wearing Shox USA in the race so that I can hear my surroundings. These are really great running headphones. We both got them. I got these for Christmas and then Andre got his on a super deal. Um, Black Friday weekend, but I am gonna get in the shower. I have no idea what I'm wearing tomorrow. I don't know, I'll pray about it and then I'll get back to y'all because also my camera battery is dying. So I'll keep y'all updated on what I choose to wear. Good morning. Look at my eyes, the backs under my eyes. It is currently 2.43. I'm gonna get ready just a little bit. So I found out that they moved up our start times as well as just our, it's my dog. Um, they moved up our start times for this race. So I thought that we were gonna be able to leave by like 3.30 to get there by four. But then getting there by four, the first Corral A crosses the start line at 4.15. And I wanna be there a little bit before that. This is all personal preference, by the way. I like putting on a little bit of makeup mostly because it helps me feel a little more confident, but you don't have to do that. I already have eyebrows, so I just do 
some gel in my eyebrows, highly, highly recommend if you are running a race to at least put on your eyebrows at the very least. You will feel a lot better when you get the pictures back, but I'm putting on concealer by the way. I'm sure you guys can tell. I do that and then personally what I like doing, I like doing a little bit of face makeup. So I'm doing a little bit of that. You do not need to do this, but I don't touch my face, so I have a really weird thing with touching my face. I don't like touching it. Now powder. Also, girls at this Run Disney race wear full beat. Like, they fully beat their faces to run these races, so do not feel bad if you have a full face of makeup going to a race. Don't, because somebody, because somebody will have more on. I'm being so serious. And then mascara. I'm also letting you guys know that this is a makeup look that I have tried weeks and weeks over while I've been training. So this is nothing to me that I'm going in race day hoping for the best. So I highly suggest for you to test a makeup look before you're gonna wear it race day. I'm wearing my Nike Mickey hat. Sorry, because it's raining, I'm sorry. But you all know I'm here. <laughs> 3.20 a.m. Water bottle, left side. Three energy gels. Vaseline all over balm. This side, back here. My driver's license for any medical reasons. Hair tie. Update, don't use Tide Pods with athletic clothing because we have had our Tide Pods ruin our athletic clothing recently and it is at the bottom of my vest. Apple Watch with a pink Apple Watch band. Nike app. Coral Shops Open Run USA. That's it all. Remember, y'all don't have to take this. It's just me. Strawberry Pop-Tart. They go on sale all the time at Publix. Like, buy one, get one free. But then also, they do a lot of sales on Amazon, too. Alexa. I got a pack of, like, five boxes on Prime Day for only $10. It's gonna go up here in this pocket with my gels. So, here we go. Ta-da! Uh, let's go run seven miles. We got to Epcot and we're stuck in traffic. It's 3.55 and this is, you know, what's going on. This is just like the gamble that you take coming to, or well, driving yourself to your run Disney race is the traffic because it can be very bad. So... If you're staying at a Disney resort, my friends all took the buses, but like, I feel like I'm gonna be okay. The cutoff time to get into my corral is 5.15 and it's four. So I still have an hour and 15 minutes until my corral cuts off. So, you know, I'm still making good time, technically, even though so many people are already in there and like getting to the characters and you know, whatever, but no reason to freak out yet. Even though all my friends are texting me freaking out. I'm not even in their corral. It's very crowded. I'm headed into where we are getting to the corrals. And this is the reunion area. This is where I'm going to meet up with Andre at the end of the race. But essentially, I'm following the crowd. Wherever they go, I go. There are also a ton of people running right now because the Dopey Challenge people don't get their full mileage. So there are people running. There are six miles everywhere. People are just sprinting 
and people that have never ran a run Disney race are like, oh, that's so cool. They're like warming up. I'm like, they're not warming up. They're trying to earn a medal. I don't feel like I have to earn it. So, you know, we're getting to the corral. Corral D, baby. Morning. Let's run another half marathon through Disney World. We're not actually running a half marathon today. It's modified to seven miles because there's a pretty bad winter storm coming and they want everybody to cross the finish line by 8 a.m. So we're starting 30 minutes earlier than we anticipated and they cut our mileage in half. So it stinks, but you know, we're still going to get it done and we're still going to earn that medal. Three, two, officially started the race. The waves that they're doing for these corrals are huge. There's a massive group of people in front of me. We're going for it. Merlin. Most of the race, unfortunately, is on highways. So it's going to be essentially all hills. Again, it's not run Disney. This is hike Disney, baby. Mile two marker. Feeling pretty okay. Clouds parted, pacing 12 minute mile. Y'all know how I roll. Bathroom break mile two. The corrals are so big that I just waited 10 minutes to go to the freaking bathroom. I just had to pee. Meg and freaking Hercules. Mile marker three. Another sub 45K in the books. Mile marker four. I didn't feel it as I was running, so I had to stop. I'm officially an Epcot. I mean, you can clearly see that. Am I unwell? Maybe. But I'm an Epcot, so it can't be that bad. I have this stitch in my chest. I've never had that before, so this is weird. Okay, everybody smile for the picture. I, <laughs> I didn't realize I wasn't recording. I am walking some of this race, so it might look like I'm running the whole thing. I'm not. I'm doing like 90-30 splits. But this, this thing in my chest is hurting. Mile six. One more to go and it just started raining. Oh no, can y'all see it? I've got one mile. I'm one of the lucky people that got to finish the race that they had scheduled for today. They just cut the course short. So some people aren't gonna be able to get all the way to seven, but we're getting there. Boring, but we finished, baby. All the way, even though it's seven, I still got it. Yeah, it's yep. My hair is a rat's nest, and it is pouring. I got my Powerade. I got my box, and I did it, y'all. Whoa, what is that? Okay, guys, I made it back home from the race. Couldn't film a lot of the race horizontally because my phone started having a mind of its own once it started raining. It started raining at the end of the race it was like sideways rain like it was pretty intense but i got my medal hehe <laughs> this is what the medal looks like and donald and daisy run around even though i didn't run 13.1 miles i still signed up for this half marathon and i ran seven miles at a really great pace I paced 13 minutes, 13 minutes, and nine seconds, which from where I started running this time last year, I was pacing a 17 minute mile. So I'm very proud of myself for even doing that. And the fact that I can run a mile period, babes, I earned that. One of the things that we do at, a, at the end of the races now, when we're coming home is we get Maple Street. <laughs> so we put in an order to go. So I have my Maple Street here. Andre's already eating his Maple Street. He went out to the race. He drove me there. So he was waiting in the crowds for a very long time. So he's got quite a few stories though of just like tensions were high today in a very weird way, in a way that was not the case the last run Disney races that I was in. I don't think that that's a half marathon thing. I think it's the fact that the weather completely changed the race 
most of our race was on the highway and the end of the race just felt really rushed like there wasn't a lot of like woohoo cheering it was like the announcers were like get in the car get on the bus go leave it was like i don't know i didn't get didn't get any pictures of me with my medal so maybe we'll go to disney later see how we feel wait for this rain to pass it should pass by like one o'clock Ryder, do you have anything to say for the run disney people what did you do while i was racing that is honestly riveting Ryder. it really is we're headed to epcot and we decided literally kind of last minute that we were headed to epcot i'm wearing my new gooder sunglasses and I'm pretty sure I have these linked in my Amazon storefront. This brand is available on Amazon and they feel amazing. Amazon earrings. Adelaide's Fort I Heart Disney t-shirt. I wore this one in Disneyland. And you can use code SHANNON15 for 15% off your purchase. Amazon flare leggings. That's literally all I wear. And then New Balance 574s. Do you guys even care? What's your outfit of the day? Uh, Nike hat. Just do it. Carhartt. Abercrombie. Nike. That's all, the folks. The 190s earring. He has one earring in. Because he had like a treatment done to one of his ears, so he can't wear the other earring. We made it into Epcot. How beautiful. No, this is vibey. Look with the like sun <laughs> in it. You got a little flare. How beautiful. I chose this spot. Um, 2024 is, um, you know, a new era of me being content creator. He says that, but then he's going to mooch off my channel. I had a really good friend. idea for today. I just didn't he did. He was going to do a day in the life of a Disney run spectator. spectator. I should get a picture. Sure. Yeah. Oh, well, you gotta do it. You Daisy, gotta do it. okay, yeah, I have to get a picture with Daisy. We're walking through the new Epcot area and it's absolutely beautiful. Daisy is out. I have to get a picture with her because Daisy is in my medal. Oh my God, we just got pictures with the Walt statue here. This is the most pictures I've ever taken with like characters and like spots being here. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but I might've just meeting Daisy Duck and she was incredible. Such a great little character meet and greet in that new Epcot area. And she said she was so proud of me for running my half marathon. My half marathon-ish is what I keep calling it. It's ish. But we're headed, we're now headed to Moana Journey of Water. I've never been in there. Never been in there. So I'm sure it's gonna be super crowded right now, especially in the middle of the day. But we're gonna give it a try. The journey of water. Why have I never been in here? This is so beautiful. I think in here, honestly, what makes this sleigh is just the view. You can control this too. Oh my I, God, you can summon the water. I love that one because it shoots up. But it It like knows. She's a water bender. If you know, you know. We're gonna, walk, we're gonna walk through the wet path where it opens up. Okay. Oh. Oh god. So wait. <gasps> wait. Wait, my luck. I see the first one. It's your girl. I gotta go. She's beautiful in person. At nighttime, if you stand over there, you get the view of her and that couple. Oh, wait, look at this. Look at this. Tafiti. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I am a waterbender. Do you want to know what this area taught me? Typhoon Lagoon. Yeah, right. I really miss Typhoon Lagoon. Shoes are wet. I know. The I can confirm 
that flare leggings are not the right pants. Thank you. Flare leggings are not the thing to wear in there because now the bottoms of my pants are really, really wet. We're gonna do soaring because it's soaring over California right now instead of soaring around the world. So we will be here. It's our first time in Cali together. I've been. So have I. You're right. to growing in less than ideal conditions. Our aquaculture accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumption. Learning how to increase yield to uh -huh. these staples is... We literally just did everything in the land pavilion. Except for garden. Right? We hadn't left the land pavilion. No, and that's, a, that's honestly a great thing. That's, that was pretty cool. We did Awesome Planet. What did we do? Awesome Planet, Living with the Land, and Soren. We did all of those. And now we're headed up to Spaceship Earth. We're trying to figure out if we want to stay here or not. Constant state of, I feel bad leaving my dog at home. How close can he get on Spaceship Earth? There is a hidden Mickey, and it is this right here. I wonder if I can zoom in. Yeah. What are you most interested in? I don't know. What are you most interested in right now? Leisure? Right now? I love that. Uh, yeah. I disagree with that. You like the destination. God. Or should I say the beginning of your future? Good morning from Magic Kingdom. We're here celebrating Aaron's birthday today. And it just so happens to be during my race weekend vlog. So look at her. Our Capricorn Queen. Our Capricorn goddess. Look at her. She's stunning. She's beautiful. She's wonderful. She's gorgeous. Head over to her channel to see her entire birthday weekend in Disney, outside of Disney, Orlando local things. You know, Andre's here, Sierra's here. Hello. Oh, she's putting her hair up. But we're just gonna go and lollygag and just have a fun little time. My hair looks a lot different because I washed it last night and then I went to bed like this. Her hair looks so good and she's wearing it like that all the it time. It looks wild. I think I am gonna wear it like this a little more. It looks nicer with the bang. She looked good. And I am wearing my race day medal. Even though people did complete the marathon today, but I'm still wearing this today because I saw a couple of other people wear it and I want a picture in front of the castle even though I didn't get a run through the castle. So we're gonna take her photo. I need a, a medal picture just in front of the castle because I didn't run through it. Aaron's OOTD. It's really cute. Where's the jacket from? The girls are Amazon. Ready for it? Yeah. Amazon. 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 <laughs> oh my god! And then the platform Croc. Croc. Also Amazon. And Amazon sucks. The platform Croc. Head to her storefront to shop. <laughs> and then Amazon Sierra Amazon. is slaying Giving the Disney girly. Disney girly vibes. She has those linked in her like to know it. I do know that. 
And then the flare leggings, the Walt Disney World. These are Aerie. Oh, Aerie, you do like Aerie. I like my Aerie ones. Oh, and the other girls are here. They went and got coffee. Did you even want their own? <laughs> Oh, I glad you missed a little. I was this close to the water. I was almost dead. Yeah, she almost fell in on pirates. I was almost Look at Rachel's She was going down. I the candy bacon for Aaron's birthday. Aaron's looks the best. Yes, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron, I want a birthday bacon. Aaron's this is crazy. Have you never had it? Have you no. never had it? Oh, no. it's good. Different. Wow. Birthday good. bacon. Cheers. Or, yeah, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Yeah. Yours looks the best. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, it was only the Grand Marshals. That is so good. I'm so glad you had us try it. Think about this. Like multiple times a week. It's really good. I, I tried to make. Three. I tried to make it at home one time and it did not work. I know the woman gave us free bacon because she said Aaron's get free bacon on their birthday. Only Aaron's. Only Aaron's. That's not like actual facts, but that's that is just like you know the fun of Disney. Yeah, it's her birthday bacon every year now. Um, Birthday bacon! We're going into, it's a small world and I think it's only a five minute wait. We should. Is that? That's concerning. <laughs> this angle of the castle is everything. Everything. Wow. Look at us with the castle. So cute. Ran it up on the people mover. <laughs> Oh wait, why are they so far away? Andre also bought a new shirt. Look at that. Good circuit. And these are two light speedy competition. Was it also has brought in some real monsters of comedy? Whether you have my favorite view or nine, take the time to see this show. You're my favorite view. You're my favorite. Now approaching. Nothing. <laughs> Vanilla? It said it's like tea infused icing. What? Whatever that means. No idea. It just tastes like Disney frosting. Oh, yeah. Disney frosting you know. is the best it's thick. Oh, mm -hmm. oh my god, there's sprinkles on the inside. Stop. I haven't really been vlogging today, mostly because I've been having so much fun with my friends. Just like hanging out and stuff. We just rode Tron. And we've been writing a couple of stuff here and there and everywhere. Some of the girls left, but we're still just like hanging out. We're about to get on the train to head out of the park. But something that's been so cool, and I think, ooh, I just had a bug fly in my hand. Something, <laughs> something that I think is really cool walking around the park is you see everybody with their medals on. People are wearing their 5K medals, 10K, half marathon, full marathon, dopey. It's just really cool like seeing everybody and seeing all of the athletes like taking pictures and everything. So, I don't know, I just love this. I love, even though race weekends are really crowded, definitely highly suggest if you ran one, because this is a Run Disney vlog, if you ran one to go to the parks with your medal on. Go to the parks with your medal on. You feel so proud, you feel so good. Take some pics. When we got here today, <laughs> let's talk to him. <laughs> we got here today, there was this, um, we were like walking by, where were we, Crystal Palace? Right after Casey's by Crystal Palace. Oh, and yeah. a <laughs> duck <laughs> on my head. When I tell you, I felt the <laughs> flutters. Guys, I almost died. <laughs> I think the soul left the body. I died. I was attacked by a duck today, a Disney duck. I don't even know if it was a duck. I didn't even see it because I was shriveled down to the ground. Her shivers were timbered. <laughs> I was no. timbered. Wait, can I hold it? I feel empowered if I hold it. <laughs> Yay! Um, the highlight of my day was I got Joffrey's coffee this morning because Starbucks line was way too long. And though I did spill coffee on myself, the oh, coffee the coffee spilled in a, a hidden Mickey uh, shape. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. 
so that's pretty magical for like something that's normally not magical. Okay. We were trying to go take a picture on the top of Main Street and everybody followed us out of the exit. We definitely took like literally so many people followed us and that was the most mortifying experience of my life. <laughs> Like literally, I want to crawl into a hole. I know, I'm so excited. He hasn't seen the Christmas stuff at all this year. So we're gonna do a little moo moo shiru around. We think we can get on the main street vehicle that's right here. So we're gonna try and hop on it. Everybody watch your step. Well, we tried to ride the, the main street vehicle and the lovely man at the vehicle said that they run those vehicles a lot in the mornings and then between the hours of 5.20 and 6.20 p.m and you get picked up over at Tony's. Look at me telling you guys, oh, I don't give info. Sometimes I have a little tidbits of information, but don't look at that info as truth because honey, that can change in a week, okay? It is just me waving goodbye to Magic Kingdom Christmas. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye Christmas. We'll see you next year. Bye. The entry. I love this time of year. Look I at love that. this time of year. I love it this time of year. All right, everybody, wave goodbye to the pineapple reefs. Goodbye, the pineapple reefs. The fruits. I thought it was real soon. Merry Christmas. Wave goodbye. goodbye. It's see you real soon. It's see you real soon. Wow. Why am I sad? This is the last time I'm seeing Christmas. I'm actually very happy to see it. You were happy you got to see it. Because I didn't know I was going to see it. Well, good morning. It's officially the Monday after my Run Disney event. I ran on Saturday and it's now Monday morning and I, it, my legs are sore. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. And I have been chugging liquid IVs. Something that I forget about race day for me specifically, not even my training runs, but like my actual Run Disney races is that I'm so thirsty, like, days and days and days after. I just cannot catch up on my hydration. So I do definitely need to get better at that. And if anybody has any tips on hydration, like please, for the love of God, give it to me. But I realized that I did not close out this vlog. So I just wanted to say thank you so very much for joining me throughout this entire process and throughout the entire Run Disney weekend. And I'm just so grateful that you decided to watch this vlog and I hope that this inspires somebody to know that you can do your own run Disney event and you can do your own run and you can enter any race this year. 2024 can truly be your year because 2023 in January, I was not a runner. I had never ran before and now I have run two run Disney races. I have done a 10K, I have done a full half marathon and I was prepared to do a half marathon but it ended up being seven miles. So if I can do it, okay, as a five foot eight mid-sized girly that had never ran before and thought that she couldn't do it, you 100% can do it. And I truly believe that these events are for everybody and at the very least sign up for a 5K because the more faces and the fresher faces that are at the Run Disney events, the better that it is. And you don't have to be a super crazy Disney person to do it. I love the theme parks, but I'm not somebody that dresses up and I'm not somebody that does all that kind of stuff. And those races are still for somebody like me and they're still for somebody who maybe just wants to run through the parks and doesn't even want to go to the theme parks. It truly is for everybody. And I just thank you so very much for watching this. I have more videos on my channel of what it's like living in Orlando and living by the theme parks. Not all my videos are theme parks. I'm not a theme park vlogger, but um, I am a living in Orlando vlogger. And I just thank you guys so much for joining me. And I will see you guys in the next one when I maybe sign up for my next race. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.